Welcome to my parallax scrolling tutorial. What we're going to do here is set up an example of parallax scrolling. It's a common effect used in 2D games to give the impression of 3D movement. It's pretty easy to set up and I'll show you how it's done right here. Now to start off with what we've created is a stage with three layers. We've got a background, a middle ground and a foreground. I'll just quickly show you all those individually. So on the foreground, what I've created is a uh, strip of grass, basically with some flowers. We've got our middle ground, which is a mountain range. And the background, which we've created, which is some uh, nice blue sky with clouds. Now what we'll do is give these all instant na instance names. The background, we'll call background. Middle ground, middle ground. And foreground, foreground. Just lock these in place so they can't be moved. What uh, this demonstration is mostly about is the action script coding that goes in behind it. In theory, what happens in parallax scrolling is the two two objects move at different speeds in relation to each other. So what we'll have is the foreground moving faster than the middle ground, which itself moves faster than the background, to give a false sense of 3D. Now I've set up this blank action script file and I'll show you the code required to make it happen. First thing we'll do is just create the package for it. In order to make everything work, we'll need to import three of Flash's uh, classes that have already been made for you. You've got the uh, display movie clip class. That helps control all the uh, movie clips on the stage. As we're working with graphics, we'll need that one in there. And you've got two related to the keyboard commands. Because what we'll do is we'll have the user able to push the left and right left and right arrow keys to make things move. So that's the keyboard event one. And import flash dot UI dot keyboard. We'll then create the uh, class for parallax test. That's an extension of the movie clip class. Let's just put that on the right line. And in here, we'll have our constructor method. Now, in here, what we'll, all we really need to put in is an event listener that will listen for when the player pushes either the left or right arrow keys. And for that, Type this code in, pushing straight to a stage. Right, so listening for when the keys push down, and this is what we're going to call when we when the uh, user has pushed the key. Now we'll go ahead and program that one now. So function on key down let's move that down and the only two keys the user is going to push in this game is uh, the left and right arrow keys so we need to program those two keys and we'll do if events for those Keyboard dot left. That's where we put the code for what happens, and I'll just copy and paste that. Change that to right. Now, in these two sections are the code that's going to run. I'll just line these up correctly so it looks neat and tidy. Right, in between these two brackets is uh, the code that's going to run when the keyboard, the left button on the keyboard, is pushed, and the right one. Now, if a player pushes the left arrow key, they want their character usually to move left, which is the equivalent of saying the background everything moves to the right. So what we'll have to do is program the X coordinates to change on the background and move the the, um, the pictures to the right as opposed to the left. It, it's kind of like the um, backwards way of thinking about it, but it's just what everyone's used to. I mean, for this demonstration, it doesn't matter which way it moves as long as it's uh, 
overlays move move uh, move with each other. So we'll program the foreground and the x coordinate for the foreground. We want it to move to the right, so we'll be adding pixels to the x coordinate. So we'll do plus 10 for that. So whenever a player pushes the left keyboard, the foreground layer will move to the right 10 pixels. We'll make the middle ground move only 5. And the background move only 3. So it's these different pixel movements that give the parallax scrolling effect which we're after. And for the right arrow key, we want everything to be moving to the left. So we just copy and paste that code and change the pluses to minuses. And if we go ahead and save, and we'll just see if we made any typos in this. Nope, there we go. So as you can see, I'm pushing the left and right arrow keys. Let's just make this bigger. Oh, it's Nope, let's keep it in this size. Right, I haven't made a stage big enough for that. Right, so if we move to the left and right, as you can see, the foreground layer is moving 10 pixels each time, middle ground is moving 5, and the background is moving 3, which gives a vague, vague 3D effect. Now, obviously, there's a few flaws in this, so that you can, uh, you can scroll off the edge of the screen and carry on going. Well, that just gives you a better demonstration of how everything's moving in relation to uh, everything else. And that's basically the parallax effect. It's um, as you can see, it's only a few lines of code, 30 to make all that. You can, in theory, have much more layers than just three. You can have as many as you want. Uh, it, it's such an effect, it's, it's so good, it even works with only two layers. And uh, hopefully, this is uh, this is giving you your own ideas to use parallax scrolling in your own games. If you have any comments, feel free to uh, uh, comments or questions. Even if you feel free to just put them in the YouTube comment box, and I'll try and respond to all of them. But apart from that, just have fun making your own uh, parallax scrolling effects. And obviously, if you do make your own, feel free to send the file to me and I'll, uh, I'll have a look at it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.